Hey, it is Andy with the Fence Post Indie Music and Vinyl Blog, here for part three of this series where I am talking about Spiritualize and the double album that should have been. Everything was beautiful and nothing hurt. In this third video, I'm going to take a look at Spiritualized's 2018 album, And Nothing Hurt. As noted in the first video, Everything Was Beautiful was released in 2022. We did a quick unboxing of both that 2022 album on vinyl, as well as this one here, And Nothing Hurt. And I talked a little bit about the artwork and the cohesiveness and lack thereof between the two records. In my second video, I talked more about Everything Was Beautiful. We broke down some of the songs, we talked a little bit about J Spaceman's headspace, and kind of touched on the concept that it was supposed to be a double album. In this video, I'm going to break down some of my thoughts on And Nothing Hurt, break down some of the songs, and talk a little bit about what I have found regarding the double album that never was. When I approached putting this piece together, I saw it was a lone discussion on the dissolution of spiritualized Kurt Vonnegut quote titled Double Album, Everything Was Beautiful and Nothing Hurt, and a contemplation on what that album could have been, but I quickly realized I needed to look quite a bit deeper. In one of the previous videos, I talked a little bit about spiritualized Jason Pierce, who goes by the name Jay Spaceman, was ready to call it quits after And Nothing Hurt. I didn't mention and go into that it was his label that talked him out of the idea of making this double album. Spaceman released And Nothing Hurt as essentially part one with no intention, at least to my knowledge, that there would be a part two that would conclude it with Everything was beautiful. And Nothing Hurt starts out strong, a perfect miracle. Jay Spaceman employs a technique of polyphonic singing that he has used, well, many times before, and most notably on one of his most popular tracks, the title track to his 1997 album, Ladies and Gentlemen, We Are Floating in Space. Polyphonic singing is basically where two different vocal parts overlap and in this case, repetitively. And you can hear that here. Yet despite similarities like this, And Nothing Hurt seemed so distinctly different from many other spiritualized albums. And those differences weren't necessarily a bad thing. They were just that, different. And that's what I loved about this album. Here Comes the Road, Let's Go is a solid example. It's catchy but it lacks a lot of that kind of drowned in sound styling found throughout spiritualized 20 to 30 years of work. When it comes down to it, most songs on And Nothing Hurt are just like that. And, and, and yet in their live performance, they were able to create that overwhelming sound quite effortlessly without compromising the songs or even to that point, altering them in any overly notable way. You can hear what I'm talking about in songs like Damaged when Spaceman's vocals fade and the instrumental elements take over. The content is there to create an all-encompassing sound, yet on the album itself it almost seems slightly downplayed. Don the right type of headphones though, and you can kind of recreate it in a sense. You can disappear into space. And Nothing Hurt isn't without those moments, though. The morning after devolves into this harmonic free-for-all at about the midpoint that continues for the rest of the song. I've always had a penchant for this melodic swirling guitars, for emotive, introspective vocals, for dynamic songs that range from the pianissimo to the fortissimo, I think I pronounced those right, or essentially incredibly soft to incredibly loud and that kind of variation back and forth. I've been a fan of shoegaze and dream pop for decades now. Post-rock tends to employ similar things. And while spiritualized doesn't really 
kind of fit into any of those wholeheartedly. Releases like Ladies and Gentlemen, We Are Floating in Space, well, it most certainly dips its toes into the shoegaze waters. This is a style of music I find hard not to love. While well, Ladies and Gentlemen and Everything Was Beautiful dabbled in those shoegazy sounds and Nothing Hurt strayed a bit, yet it remains to this day one of my top three albums of 2018. I guess to conclude this three-part series, I'm just going to reiterate that this stands alone as its own entity. And Nothing Hurt was so very different from so many other things that Spiritualized created over its 30 years, 1992 to 2022, so far. And in 2018, it was a complete straying from some of that consistency. And that was a good thing. And then here, this, everything was beautiful. It's, it's so different from and nothing hurt. It takes you back to, ladies and gentlemen, we are floating in space. It too, in a sense, has a completeness to it. It's about the same length as And Nothing Hurt at 44 minutes. It could almost use an additional song, but I think it works as is. Spaceman didn't need to include much to bring things full circle. There's enough here that draws that parallel to And Nothing Hurt. There's enough here that draws that parallel and looks back, looks in, looks back to Spaceman's past, previous works. Ladies and gentlemen, we are floating in space. It brings things back down to Earth. He's coming home. And I think that kind of packages it up. He's returned to Earth. He's back. Maybe for good, maybe for just this moment, but he came back and he gave us something truly great. So, gotta thank him for that. Speaking of shoegaze, I am working on putting together a list of essential shoegaze albums, and I will be publishing that in the coming weeks. So don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.